Right, okay, welcome back. What we're going to do now is we're going to take out the flow turbine sensor, which is in there. Now, what that does is that senses the cold water running through and it, it spins a turbine in there and sends voltage down here and lets us know that there's a hot tap on, in a nutshell. So we'll unplug it here. Okay, so it's easy connection, three little three pin plug. And then normally I've took it off, but this clip goes in there and, I'll, and locks that in position in front of the brass, the brass section just there. Right, so once you've uh, drained it down, you can pull that out like that, and that exposes the cold pipe. All right, now we, we took that off completely, but you'll see there's a filter in there. Keep that in there because that stops any shit coming through the road and going into the boiler and clogging up the heat exchanger and stuff. Now, once that's that, you can pull this. It's a bit awkward, this is. Pull it out. Right, now, that is the flow sensor. And if you used to, it goes in that way, right? And if you was to blow through it, you'll hear it. Right, so, but what happens is, if you get any crap inside there, um, it can stop it from spinning and you'll find that they've got heating and no hot water because it's not spinning, it's not sending any voltage down there, so they've got no hot water. So those are easy to replace. Make sure you put them in the right way. All right, normally, a good indication is have the three wires closest to you because they're slightly offset look. And then, that's that sorted. Now, what happens sometimes, it's a bit difficult to see, but in there, there's another plastic section. I know you can't see it, can you? But, these break, and you have to try and get this entire section out. And if that breaks, you have to pull. It's very difficult to do in position, but you can sort of get a pair of grips on that little lug there at the top and pull it out. I can get that from here. There we go. Right, okay. So a sharp pull. Now it's not the easiest thing to do because it's easy for us because we've got it all exposed, but when it's on a wall in an awkward situation, see, you've got another, like a flow reducer in there, okay, and then that comes through there, and then that goes directly into the domestic hot water section on the heat, plate heat exchanger, which is there, look. Okay, so... You can see here, this one is actually broken. All right, see what I'm talking about when they start to leak? So you can buy these as well, cheap enough to buy. And uh, yeah, that's how a flow turbine sensor works. So any issues where you've got no hot water, this could be the culprit. Uh, I've changed loads of them, but when you put them back in, you install them all back in, make sure you put all the O-rings in exactly where they should be, because if you put that in and turn the water on, it will drip, I guarantee, because they're dead awkward. Uh, they're just an awkward little poxy bit of kit, which um, when they're working, they're great, but when they decide to fail, they're, they're crap. So that's it, thanks.